Crikey mate, she's a beaut. Hey guys, Crash Tassic got an update today. It's up to 0 0.43 and it received two new levels, level 13 and 14. Level 13 is called Crossing the Chasm, where you have to jump this gap and land. And I think you have to go through the exit. I hope not, because that's going to be pretty hard. Level 14 is called Target Plateau, and it looks like a real bastard. It's got a runway and then a rather large gap, and you have to somehow land your character on that target. I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, achieve this, but let's see what vehicles I can come up with and try and solve these problems. Okay, first up, I think I'll choose Shipbox 1. That's a vehicle I made the other day for a live stream I was in. Uh, this vehicle, it somehow managed to pass all 12 levels just by having slightly different variations on the power levels for the rockets and sometimes changing where the bracing was on the cross members and whatnot. I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes on level 13. It's a brand new challenge, it's a new day. This thing's been unbeatable so far. Let's see how we get. Oh, what is that? The front wheels spread like a $2 hooker. It's hit the wall and disintegrated. I'm going to take those back rockets off. They're really not helping me get across that gap. Without those back rockets pushing it down for stability, it should float a lot better across this gap. Is what I'm oh, look at those front wheels. There's way too much flexion in the front. That was crap. Okay, I wasn't getting enough lift across the jump, so I've put in some rockets at 45 degree angles, but then I thought it would get too much of a loop-the-loop -loop effect, so I tried to put some other ones to cancel it out. The whole thing's probably a big fail mobile. Let's check it. Doesn't look too bad. Ah, shit. Ah, way too much lift in the front, I think. Let's try with a lot less power. I'm going to set to 15%. Is that a piece of the car that flew off? This looks okay. Ah, oh, the back axle! <laughs> it caught on the ramp. What a bastard. So if I give it just a little bit more power, it should clear that other ramp this time. Why are you barrel rolling, you piece of shit? So I didn't think this jump was going to be that hard. I thought I would have moved on to the next level by now. Uh, I'm going to barrel roll again. Oh, what? Success! Awesome! How was that success? I'm going to have to check the replay on that one. So it's got a pretty cool replay feature too. I don't know if I showed it last time. But you can slow it down all the way down to 8 times slower. You get some nice dramatic replays. And it looks like it has a button that saves directly to YouTube. I'm not sure if that works yet. Let's see how I actually succeeded here. I'm not I'm not convinced I did. My back wheels must have just touched the ground. Just for that split second it must have registered as the vehicle touching the ground, me in the vehicle. So that was pretty lucky I think. So far this vehicle has made it through all thirteen challenges. If it passes this one, it's like some sort of unstoppable juggernaut. Oh, the front wheel's gone. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's going to make it through this challenge. I decided I'm going to try and build some sort of helicopter and hopefully spin my way to victory. I don't really like this helicopter's chances, but a traditional vehicle is not going to make it. All my cars have got no... Oh, wow. That propeller is not strong enough at all. Maybe if I use like a little bit less power, I might have a chance, let's see. I'll wind it down to 20%. No, it just pulls itself apart. Okay, back to the drawing board. Screw it, I'm just going to put it to 100% power. Well, oh, that's pretty cool actually. kind of looks like a UFO, but there's not a chance in hell of steering it. Screw it, I'll try my luck one more time. 83% power. Oh, I was hoping I'd get flung out in the direction of the target. Alright, I've got to think about this a different way. I've got to build something totally different. Okay, the plan is I'm going to catapult myself across the gap. Hopefully the rockets shoot down at the front and bring the back upwards. <laughs> and all it does is flop and back away like a frigid little schoolboy. I think the best way to solve the problem is to put more rockets on the chair and it should l add more lift. What the hell? Double flip. That's not too bad actually. I think that's got potential. I think what we've got to do is crank up the juice a little bit. Give it a little bit more peppers. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, that looks way too big actually. 
So the ideal power should be somewhere between 59 and 49. Let's try 53. 53 sucks balls. 100%. 100% just threw the whole vehicle onto the target and left the guy behind. I made a couple of little modifications. I think it's going to get better. Come on. This looks pretty good. Although the car just hit into me, I'm not sure if it put me off course or onto course. This looks like a bullseye. Actually. Oh, I nearly missed. Oh, that was lucky. Wow, that was hard, guys. Okay, so I can't wait to see what these guys up your sleeve for the next couple of updates. Or the next however many updates there's going to be. I've got no idea. It's only at 0.43. Let's have a look at this slow-mo replay while I bask in my glory. This was not an easy challenge, there's probably better ways to do it, but I think this double flipping catapult was pretty boss. I think I got pretty lucky though, because this chair hit me about there, and it actually gave me a little bit more momentum, and a slightly better trajectory. Look at those braces flying around, and all those random pieces. This crash chest dummy, he looks so chilled out all the time, I love it. It would be pretty cool though, if like Kerbal Space Program, you could actually scare him and have like a little face in the corner. And yeah, see him do like little crash chest dummy turds or something. Anyway guys, I'm talking crap now. This video is getting kind of long. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you later. Whee!